Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jay Cruz and welcome back to another video. In this one, we get to check out the Great Eastern Effects Company Small Speaker Overdrive. Let's get it. I want to thank the great folks at Great Eastern Effects Company for sponsoring this video, for sending this pedal out to me. I was um, very, very pleasantly surprised unboxing this thing and super excited just based on the looks of alone. There are those special moments just by looking at something that you just know you've got something special. It's going to sound or be amazing and whatever it does and this pedal certainly gave me that feeling. I am a major fan of the mid-range focus style overdrive pedals, um, and I've learned that as I've gotten a little bit more mature in my guitar playing, that that also is a representation of smaller speakers. The Small Speaker Overdrive, or SSO, is a low gain overdrive inspired by classic small amp in the studio tones. We've heard these tones from famous guitar players like Eric Clapton, Dwayne Allman, and even Joe Walsh. The pedal itself is top mounted, which means that you can easily fit on a pedal board, which I absolutely love that. It has four different knobs or features, which is gain, level, high, and low. Pretty self-explanatory, and of course, the foot switch itself. This pedal is made quite simple. Its features are quite simple, but it seems to be very high quality and very direct with the sound that it's meant to produce. And that makes me very, very excited. So without further ado, let's jump into this thing. Of course, I'm gonna be using my brand new J. Cruz Model T guitar with Lawler uh, Telecaster pickups in them. And uh, let's finally hear what this thing sounds like. <laughs>
I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. This is a bold statement. I've been reviewing products pretty much almost weekly for the entire year now. And this is probably one of my favorite overdrive pedals that I've gotten in the studio uh, this year. Because I am more of a tube screamer guy, I find that this pedal really excites me because it is kind of tube screamer-esque. A lot of mid-range, a lot of dynamic. Of course, it does remind me of, a, of an amp more than a pedal which is really, really great. Now it's important to know if this is not an amp or a amp simulator of any kind. So don't think that this is supposed to be a preamp style pedal that goes in front of a cap simulator or something like that. Um, because it is called the small speaker overdrive. It's not also a cap sim in any kind of way. This is really just a pedal. It's meant to emulate the sound that you would get from a smaller speaker that pushed overdriven sound. There was clarity, yet if you pushed it hard enough, you can get these like kind of wicked overtones that you would normally get from a pushed speaker. I think it sounded great. It felt great in my hands and it certainly uh, merged well or played well with single coil pickups, especially the Telecaster, which is my personal preference. The gain is sort of always in the sweet spot, meaning that no matter how low you put it, it's always gonna be at the edge of breakup and no matter how high you put it, it's not gonna give you that full blown kind of distortion thing. It's always gonna be overdrive. And I really like that because I like for my pedals to do exactly what they're supposed to do. So we talked about some of the pros on this thing. Are there any cons? Truth be told, I would literally have to very much nitpick to find a con. This is a personal preference for me. And so I don't have cons for pedals like this. I could maybe see someone wanting to control a little bit of that mid-range. So having a, a, a mid-range knob on there or something like that. I personally don't want that. I think that the mid-range, the natural mid-range that it produces is my preference. So I like the way it is. Um, probably the only kind of quirky thing about this pedal were the top mounted jacks. They're kind of close together, especially to the power supply input. And so if you have cables or patch cables that have more of a bigger sort of profile, I found that you can kind of run into them a little bit and it's a little bit of a challenge to get this thing situated correctly. But that's again, me nitpicking. I don't have a problem with it. I use low profile patch cables anyway, so I don't see that it would be a problem situating this thing nicely on a pedal board. I wanna once again thank the great folks at Great Eastern Effects Company. Again, this is probably one of the better overdrives that I've tried in my studio this year. And I'm very, very grateful to have the opportunity to play this thing and to be an owner of it now. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts on this pedal, some of the sounds that I got from it, and your opinions on how you would use it in your own personal rig. While you're down there, please do all of the things that help this channel grow. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Remember, I'm still on my road to 3,000 with a 3,000 subscriber giveaway. That was kind of tough for me to say. I'll link the video right up here so you can get to know about the giveaway a little bit more and you can enter it yourself. Be sure to check out some of the affiliate links that I have in the description box below. They help the channel out financially just a little bit. You can also directly donate to the channel by clicking the thanks feature that YouTube includes in all of my videos. Thanks again for watching and until next week.